Once upon a time, a long time ago, the 1970s to be exact, there lived a handsome young man named Gary, son of Slaw from the land of Cliff, <laughs> and a beautiful young lady named Kathleen of Kazoo. <laughs> their paths crossed one fateful evening at the local watering hole, a disco bar called The Back Door where their awesome dance moves captured each other's attention. <laughs> their attraction to each other led them down the road of fashion's drive, ending in a marriage not based on true love. Life wasn't that bad. They acquired affordable housing, had a steady income, and gave birth to a daughter and a son. Seemingly, everything they could ever ask for, yet they longed for something more. They weren't satisfied and their relationship suffered. Unknown to Gary and Kathleen, because they were citizens of the world, they both had banners over their individual lives. Gary's was anger, rejection, and fear of failure. Kathleen's was unloved, abuse, and rebellion. These curses bound up their hearts, keeping them in darkness and emptiness, also unknown to Gary and Kathleen, a plan was set into motion by the King of the Universe due to the prayers of his servants on this young couple's behalf. Messengers were sent to share divine love through acts of kindness, which softened their hearts and opened their eyes to a better way. An invitation was offered and accepted by Gary and Kathleen to attend one of the services of the redeemed where they both heard the voice of the king for the very first time, and they willingly bowed at his throne, accepting the gift of salvation. They had now become citizens of life, with a new banner over their lives called True Love. <coughs> over the next few years, Gary and Kathleen were empowered by the Holy Spirit, washed through baptism, and educated in the ways of the king marveling at being made clean, forgiven, and truly loved. They went on to live happily ever after, walking in God's promises, especially the one where it's said to be fruitful and multiply. <laughs> and this isn't where it ends. There is more. Yes, Gary and Kathleen were now citizens of life with new banners over their lives called True Love that daily blessed them. But unfortunately, they still had those old banners thrown in the back closet that were dragged out every time they were selfish, unforgiving, and unkind to each other. Those old banners would cover up the new banners, causing them to forget the king's teaching, hardening their hearts, and leading them off the path of the transformed back to the ways of their past. The king of the universe loved them very much as he tried to explain to them those old banners had to be willingly burned on the altar of surrender and trust. But the ruler of their old world was determined to get them back and sadly, he also had a plan. He sent his imps to lure them to lie to them, to cause division and strife. He caused them to use those old banners against each other to inflict pain, sadness, and mistrust, driving them farther and farther apart until they went their separate ways. Oh no, you say. But don't worry, this isn't where the story ends either. There is more. During this time of separation, the king of the universe had a plan. Because he knows the beginning from the end and promises never to leave or forsake his citizens, he sent his messages, messengers to once again minister to their hearts the truth of his unconditional love. Though they lived in different places now, the old banners planted firmly back over their heads, the power of the new banner, true love, began to rise up because its power was greater than the power of the old. 
It began to do bad all over their lives, empowered by the prayers of the redeemed, so that Gary and Kathleen could once more hear the voice of the king and once again bow their knees before his throne in repentance. This time, they both realized the error of their ways and worked in agreement with the king, destroying those old banners, breaking their power once and for all over their lives. Once that power was broken, they were able to forgive each other and come back to living together as a whole family, allowing the king to bring healing and restoration. The amazing grace of the king making all the difference in their lives. The story of Gary and Kathleen continues on with a valuable lesson learned, one that we all need to remember daily. Our lives are not our own. Galatians 2.20 we have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer we who live, but Christ lives in us. And the life which we now live in the flesh, we live by faith in the Son of God, who loved us and gave himself for us. Next is the Browns. 